recording. Hey James, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. So you you started your own band, right? I did. It's called the. In my area, uh, Middletown, New Jersey, there's a lot of bands, and I f was feeling left out, so I wanted to make my own. I started like writing songs when I was probably like 14, like 13, 14 years old. Um, they were not good. <laughs> just it just was like just a fun little hobby. And you recently released your own single, right? Yeah, it's called Flying Ace. <laughs> I started off with this cool like riff uh, thing on my guitar. And I was like, that's pretty neat. Um, this was like probably like a year ago. So I'm gonna run with this idea, have some chords to it, you know, get like a drum beat, get like a bass line. It just turned out to be like a cool like sounding song instrumentally. So I just was like, I'm just gonna add, like add lyrics to this. And I just thought it was really catchy. So I was like, why not just put it out? His name's Snoopy. His name's Snoopy. You also reference uh, Charlie Brown's uh, Snoopy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. I do. Um, yeah, it's pretty much just about, like, you know when he's, like, in the... <laughs> when he's flying around in his doghouse? <laughs> yeah. So, there's a few that I take inspiration from. Number one is probably, like, the Beatles. They're my favorite. And then second of them is, like, Nirvana with Kurt Cobain. So it took a long time to get everything perfect from me. I'm, like, a perfectionist. So I was like just in my basement, like just churning this song out. And once I got to like the real studio to do it, uh, it kind of just like took a short time because I already had everything figured out. So I'll probably pull out a few more singles and then like combine them into an EP. And yeah, hopefully in the future I can make an album. But um, it, it, it does cost a lot for that. 